avoid that at all costs. <laughs> like for sure this baby's going to be late. It's going to, I don't know how to explain it. Hey everyone! So today I have a special video for you. I will just jump right into it. I had my baby. I did film the last few days before I had baby. I felt totally fine. I was like, for sure this baby's going to be late. It's going to be my first late baby. My firstborn was born at 40 plus two. I went into labor on his due date. And my second was born on his due date. I had yet to take a walk. Anything else I was like, I had never taken a walk. Around the block with my boys, about a 45 minute walk. So I got into bed, started having mild contractions around 9.30. Normally contractions, like I feel like you have at the side of your stomach or like your back. Those were the contractions I experienced in my other ones more so. But this one was really like pelvic pain. So it was like a contraction, but all pelvic pain. So they were starting to come like maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes apart. I got like little to no sleep that night, like 5.45 in the morning or so. Every time I made any movement, it would bring one by off. By that time, by the way, they had gotten to like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes apart. That's why I wanted to make this video actually because I already feel like I'm forgetting details and it's only been a few days. Baby's only three days old today. I just, it's weird. It's weird how you somehow forget these things. Right? And I feel like they weren't really getting close enough together based on my last birth uh, for me to feel like yeah this is actually like I was like maybe this is the start of something I told my husband I'm like yeah I've ha been having some contractions and stuff and I didn't get much sleep and so he's like oh like so what do you want to do do you want to like call your midwife and I was like no honestly like I, I just want to wait it out because okay my memory card was full we made a plan for the day we were like okay we're going to you know maybe take a car ride just because it's so hot and like we can't really go anywhere else we didn't want to go to like a public place that was indoors because the kids are sick so my husband came up with the idea of going plane watching actions through like kind of all of that i would say like six to eight minutes apart sometimes like a little bit more sometimes a little bit less but it was really nice the kids had a lot of fun and they played a lot and then we left from there, we came home, we had dinner all together, and then we all went out on a walk together. And we took a shorter walk this time because it was in more pain, and I did curb walking. So when you like just walk on and off the curb, and every time I was doing that, it was leading to another contraction. I was like, why are you stressing your body? Like you should just, I had called my midwife at that point, by the way. She was like, I think you should take some like gravel or drowsiness medicine for the night, and then some Tylenol and try to sleep through the night. So that way, you know, tomorrow you can like progress this so we came home to bed and then i got into bed i took my benadryl i took two benadryls and a tylenol and i was like okay it's time to go to bed now I'm having the contractions really close together and it was really intense and it was like a lot of pelvic pain like i said and then three minutes later i had another one three minutes later i had another one and my husband was like okay you need to time these they're getting close together and i was like what's the point if they're not gonna lead to anything anyways like why do i need to time these and he's like you need to time these it's scheduled to be a home birth but i figured that i would get if, if it's nighttime i don't want to wake up the boys with birth, and i also don't want to wake them up and kick them out of the house in the middle of the night and so i was gonna go to the birthing center and so i told my parents like by the way just be ready to come and like more contractions and it had been like an hour at this point of contractions three minutes apart my husband really tried to put me to sleep uh, i tried to lie down and just relax and just chill like he was saying to me and i really tried to go to sleep but they were super they were getting super intense and super painful i would say like on a scale of like easy medium hard like very hard it was probably like hard at that point hour he's like okay yeah, you have to call your midwife now like this is, it's been an hour of this and so I did, I called my midwife and she was like, yeah, she's like, she's like, okay. She's like, I think it sounds like you need to come in. And so I was like, are you sure? Like, shouldn't I try to sleep maybe <laughs> or like do anything? Cause the last one just was so long. I didn't want to go in if it wasn't serious, but she heard me have some contractions on the phone. She was like, look, they sound like they are getting intense. And it's, I think it's best if you, you know, call your parents and come in. She's like, it's your third baby and sometimes they come like quickly. And I was like, no, 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 not mine. Mine don't come quick. I called my parents at the clock by the time I had called them. So my contractions started getting serious around 9.30. I was having the contractions really close together. Really like it progresses. By the time they're that close together, you're in like excruciating pain. And that's what shows that like it's the closeness and the intensity that kind of leads to a baby. And so by the time they came, it was like 12.15 in the car we got in. 
and the birthing center is only about 15 minutes from where I live so that's not bad but I did have like three contractions in the car and car contractions are the worst like I have no idea how some women give birth in the car car contractions are just awful avoid that at all costs <laughs> to the birthing room and there was nobody else there and so I was happy a room with like a really big tub and so I was really excited to like get to that room like, do you want me to check you and in this one I was like yes I want to know like I have no idea how things are going and I was like I have no expectations of the check at the beginning like I don't feel like I should have been a certain amount because I know my from my previous birth I have trouble dilating she checked me and she was like yeah you're pretty much like pretty thin pretty a face like she's like you're like a, a three so I was like okay cool I'm like a three that's great and she was like, yeah, she's like, your baby's head is super low. Shocker, that was both my previous children. And so I was like, great, this means we're, we're exactly where we thought we would be. And so she was like, you're having a charge, it's good. She's like, so let's wait like an hour or two. She's like, but given how low your baby is, she's like, you know, you, you could consider like, you know, uh, breaking your water. And she was also like, do you want me to do a sweep? I was like, sure, go ahead. At this point, you know, like it's time to get this baby out. Like, I don't, I didn't really care. I was like, I'm here. And if something helps progress it, then let's do it. You know, the first hour, my husband is really tired. I know, right? And so he hadn't slept very well. I like, I mean, until like for that night, he hadn't slept much. And so he was, you know, feeling really sleepy. And so I was like, you know what? It's better if he just gets sleep right now because I'm definitely going to need him later. And so I just sat, I, 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 try, I tried to lie down, it was extremely uncomfortable. And so I sat, they had like a rocking chair there, and so I sat on the rocking chair and I just tried to chill out. So they were coming in every four minutes, like on the dot, like my midwife was counting them, not me, and she was like, when she came back in, after like an hour, she was like, okay, they're coming in every four minutes. Um, and then, yeah, so then I had contractions again, like four minutes apart for another like hour or so. And I just didn't feel like it was progressing me much. I was like, for sure, this is like, I'm still at like a three. And so she came in and it had been two hours at that point. She's like, would you like me to do another check? And I was like, yes, I want to know like where this is going and like talk to her about like, look, are you like about breaking my water? Because in the past, that was the only thing that helped me move from having those moderate contractions to like into strict active labor. And I was like, I'd rather do it when I'm not exhausted from all these moderate contractions. And then I was already exhausted at that point anyways, but you know, like more tired than I already was. And it was like, it's the middle of the night. This way, like maybe by morning or like afternoon, I might have a baby, especially because my baby was so low and it just helps put that extra pressure on my cervix to help dilate. See what I was getting into, breaking my water, because last time I broke my water, I went within half an hour, I went from having contractions four or five minutes apart to having contractions like back to back. So I was aware that that could very well happen again and I was just like look I just need labor to progress and hopefully I'll be able to deal with it. I tried walking around, I was going on the yoga ball. In half an hour started getting a lot more intense so they were like two minutes apart. So they went from four minutes apart to two minutes apart and they were hurting a lot more. So I was like okay this is a good sign though like I was happy that like okay this is happening. So my midwife was like it was like 2.30 at that point right 2.30 2.45 or so. And so my midwife at that point was like okay I'm gonna go get some rest for like an hour or two and I'm gonna have another midwife come and that midwife was actually the midwife who was at my first baby's birth or like who was lab who labored with me for my first child and so it was really nice to see her actually so she came she's like I'm gonna call her and she's gonna come in and she's gonna say like oh, hello and like welcome to another birth of mine right and by that time I had gotten back in the bath and it was like like it was very very painful I kept having my husband um, you know put pressure on my back and he as he describes it I was being very nice to the people coming into the room but not so nice to him from this point on a lot of it is uh, not hearsay but it's um, more from what he's told me than what I remember because I don't remember a lot of what had happened my contractions they were like two minutes apart and they were getting very intense and so I did that for about like two hours or so and I told my husband when things started right I was like okay so what's my cutoff line because I like to have cutoffs. I like to know where I'm going. I like to have like an end goal in mind. It helps me, I find, rather than just like doing things willy nilly. And so I was like, listen, if by, he's like, you know, by what time do you want to be a certain amount? And I was like, for me, if by like seven o'clock, be at least like a seven. So, you know, like a little less than an, a centimeter an hour. I said this while I was obviously not in terrible pain. Around 4.30, I'm in a lot of pain. And I'm just trying to work through it at this point and my husband is trying to help me. I got out of the bath, in the bath, 
and I'm just trying to move around. I, I, I lay down for a bit um, just to try and, and rest a bit. And I was starting to like pass out between contractions. Like I was so tired that my body was just giving out um, in between every contraction and then waking up to a contraction and having it and then going back to sleep. And I started throwing up. I just, out of nowhere, I got really nauseous and I hadn't eaten, I had a bowl of cereal before. I took those Benadryls at night and other than that, I hadn't really eaten anything. It just had water. It was an intense two hours. She checked me at 4.30, like you're like a, a good six. So I was like, great, I went from a three to a six in two hours, that's, that's great. They accused her of lying to me. I was like, are you sure? I was so suspicious the entire labor. It was hilarious. I accused everyone of lying <laughs> to me. I was like, my husband, them, everyone. So I ran a bath, but it was like, I wanted it to be like hot. I was like, I was like, I'm in a lot of pain. I want like super hot water. And so she was like, I had my husband be like, yo, like as hot as it can go. And so he fills it up and it's like, so he's like, come check. And I was like, yes, good. This is what I want. Like, this is perfect. This is really going to help me. My mind was like, this is, this is all it is. Like you do this, you get into the nice hot water and, and all the pain just goes away. So it didn't, it got worse. And my pain started getting really intense and my contractions started getting really close together. I would say they were like probably like a minute apart at that point. There's no break in between. They were like a minute apart and lasting like over like a minute each. So I was pretty much just getting them back to back to back. I was just telling my husband like, I don't know what to do. I'm in so much pain. Like I kept getting upset at him. I can't do this anymore. I thought, like, I thought I could, but it's not. I kept saying a bunch of like crazy things. I was just like, I don't know how my friends do this. I don't know how anybody does this. Like, I don't know why anybody does this. Like this is not working and it's not gonna work and like baby's not gonna come out of me and like I just need a break like I just kinda like I just need a break I just I don't wanna do this anymore and like it's too much and he was just like okay you got this like super supportive super just like yes you, you can do it don't worry it's gonna be okay like you know what can we do what, how can we make this better like you know he was talking to my midwife and they were both trying to like offer all these things they're like okay do you wanna try this position do you wanna try that position do you wanna try pressure here pressure there like like this, that, like they were trying a bunch of things and I was just like getting annoyed at this point. I was like, no, no, no. So then at like 5.15 or so, um, the my my midwife comes in who I had originally called and I was just like, I wanna do another check. And they're like, it's only been like half an hour. Like, you know, like not much is gonna have changed. And I was like, no, 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 I wanna do another check and then I'm gonna decide whether I wanna stay or like, uh, like what, why don't you wait 15 minutes, right? I think I asked them to do the check probably like six o'clock. And they were like at, at uh, five o'clock and they were like, why don't we wait 15 minutes? So I'm like, fine, I can do 15 minutes. And then like five minutes in, I was like, okay, it's been 15 minutes. And my husband was like, no, it's been like three. And I was like, no, no, I can't do 15 minutes. This is too much, like, check me down. But anyways, I made it the 15 minutes and I was like, okay, now check. And so she checks me and she's like, you're like a, a seven, like, you know, maybe seven and a half or like seven plus they call it or whatever. And so I was like, okay, I went like one centimeter and like how like, well, like half a centimeter, one centimeter in like an hour or like half an hour, which is actually great. Like, trust me, looking back, I'm like, that's great. But in the moment I was just like a seven, like I still have three centimeters ago. I'm like, I can't do this. Like it's too much for me. So I'm like, just call an ambulance and like send me to the hospital for an epidural. But in my head, I knew I was like, and my husband was saying this too. He's like, look, it, like by the time you get there, it, it could be that like, you know, it could take a while to get there. Like the ambulance is gonna have to come and you're gonna have to transfer and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, it's all good. Like, whatever, just do it. I, I can't do this anymore. Like, I, I can't do it. It's it too much for me. I was just yelling at everybody. I was like, why would anyone help me? Why is that, why, like, what are all of you doing here? Like, you know, none of you are helping me. I'm just yelling through my contractions at this point. I was just like, I'm in so much pain. It was so much pelvic pain. And like, it wasn't abdominal pain at all. My abdomen was fine, my stomach, all of it was fine. It was all in my pelvis. It felt like my pelvis was breaking in two. I don't even know how much time was going by in between them because I was just totally, totally out of it. Yeah. comes and uh, they sit me down on like the chair and they were like, okay, do you want to be in like a different position? I was like, no, I don't care. Just get me to the hospital like ASAP, right? Like get on it. And so I got my stuff and my midwife has to come with me in the ambulance in case I need anything. Then she's there and my husband has to take the car and bring the car so that we can, you know, go home with the baby. And so I was like, okay, bye. Like, he's like, bye. Like, he's like, he's like you're going to be great. Like, I'm going to see you there. And I was just like, bye. And like, I really didn't care. I was not paying attention to anybody or anything. I was just trying to focus on like, how can I like get myself to the hospital. <laughs> the way we got there within like 
10 to 12 minutes or something uh, and we got there like super fast and they were like you know they'll probably have the epidural waiting for you because they know the situation so I was still having contractions in the in the van and it was just I was just, there was yelling I wanted to be out of the pain and like just be done with it so I started feeling like some funny feelings down there I felt like maybe I have to like push a little bit but the past two times when I had to push I was on the epidural and so my feeling to push was extremely clear I knew exactly what it was and that's kind of what I was waiting for and I didn't get that feeling but I felt like my body just started pushing in the contractions my body was literally just pushing and I was like okay whatever I don't care I was like I'm just trying to work through the pain here and I like I don't care just let my body do whatever we got to the hospital and they were like you're here you're here and then they, they wheeled me out and I'm like yelling all the way through like I'm yelling through the hospital the hospital's like dead quiet it's like 6 45 a.m at this point and the hospital is like super quiet so it's been like um you know four hours only four hours of, of active labor at this point and I'm just yelling straight up i'm like i don't care I, was like, I don't care where i am or what i'm doing like i'm in pain they're like okay this is the room and the nurse comes and she's like i was like do you have the epidural and she was like she's like yeah we're just gonna like check you and then we're gonna we're gonna get the the epidural right away and so i was like okay i was like really annoyed that like she didn't have it ready and waiting for me i don't know what i expected but anyways like i said i was very delirious at this point and so they were like trying to figure out how to get me from the ambulance bed to the hospital bed. And then they were like, oh, like, can you, like, are you able to get up and go? And I was like, yeah, no problem. So I got up and as I get up off the ambulance bed, I literally like had to hold myself. And I was just like, I think like something's happening. And I was like, I still couldn't express that I was like, I still didn't, it didn't click that I need to push or that the baby's coming out of me because I was just in so much pain. So I was just like, all I have is pain. It didn't click to me that like a baby could be coming out of me, which I know sounds ridiculous. Obviously a baby's coming out of me, but it just didn't click that like, I'm ready to have the baby. It just felt like I'm just in more and more pain. And, and for me, it was just like, I just need to I got onto the hospital bed and I'm still bearing down. Like my body is, is, is pretty much automatically pushing at this point, but I'm trying to stop it. Like I feel like there's pressure and tension down there and I'm trying to like actually hold back because I'm just like I'm in pain and it hurts and like I want this to stop. And so the nurse like literally like I, I had a contraction on the bed, my first contraction on the bed like right away and she looks down and I think she saw the head and so she runs out of the room and she goes to get the doctor right away. And the, so like you know the doctor and a bunch of like other nurses come in and they start like moving the bed and stuff. And he's just like, uh, they're like, you're, they're like, you're 10 centimeters. You're like ready to push. I was like, are you sure? Like, I was like, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't get it. And so they're like, yeah, you're, you're like, you're, you're ready to push. Like, like you can push. Like, you're like, you're ready to go. And so he, the doctor, he goes, can I put like a local anesthesia in you? And I was like, will it hurt less? And he's like, yeah. And so I was like, okay, go ahead. Like pain, go away. Right. Go. And so he puts it he puts it, he puts half of it in and he's like okay i'm gonna get this on the right side and then he's like pushing it in and then he's like okay he's like that's half he's like now i'm gonna do the left side and but before he could even do that i had another contraction and i pushed and and this time they were like they were like they saw me pushing they're like it's okay just let go and so i let go and i was like oh i know how to push because like, i've already done that like i remember that and I pushed and they were like, her head is out. And I was like, what? And then I had another contraction right away. And I put like, again, my body was just pushing at this point. I wasn't even like fully conscious. And they were like, here's your baby. And I was just like, what? <laughs> like what just happened? I literally just kept saying to like my husband, to like uh, my husband actually, oh yeah, he, so he wasn't there, right? And so he had to like drive. And then he walks in at the point where when he's when the doctor was putting in the right injection i was like ow you're hurting me and so my husband walks into that point just being like why in his head he was like he told me he was like why aren't they just giving her the epidural and so that's when he walks in and that's when the head came out so he literally caught it just in time and he was there for the birth i would have been sad if he had missed it so i was really glad he made it just in time i don't even know how because he said there was no traffic which is probably how he made it on time but i was just like we drove in the ambulance so he should have been a few minutes behind and he was but between me coming in i suppose and so he made it in time and then so baby they put the baby on me and i was barely holding her because it was still like in shock i was just like 
is it really over like this doesn't make sense like it was so much pain and it was so unbearable like how can it just be over and then she's she literally on me and then i was like kept saying like i don't understand i don't get it like what's going on and my husband was just like you the baby you did it i was like what are you talking about <laughs> like i don't know what what, what happened and it's really it was really weird the doctor like gave me some like the rest of the anesthesia or whatever like numb me and and i had like a mild secondary tear or whatever and so he's like everything's good and literally they were out of the room within like i would say like 15 20 minutes max they were all out of the room they all left and they left baby with me and it was just me my husband and my midwife they didn't touch her at all she was on me the whole time all in all they had me they had me get up right before i left and honestly like i was there they discharged me by 11 o'clock so she was born at 7 10 a.m and by 11 o'clock there i was out the door and on my way home and we stopped by so, so we dropped my midwife off because she came in the ambulance with me and so we dropped her back to the birthing center so she could get in her car and go home and then we went to starbucks and got like breakfast and drinks there and my mom was here obviously at home and then we came back home and had the baby and that's it that's that's pretty much that that's all it is i'm surprised she's still asleep i kind of wanted to like introduce her but maybe i'll do that after where i'll like show you guys her and like introduce her and so i don't know when i'm gonna get this uploaded or edited or anything like that but it is on video and that's about it so see you guys in my next video bye layla day two. Oh, sorry day three but i didn't take a video on your first day i'm sorry he's awake look at you it's actually evening time right now and we are going out it's layla's first Great job. It's your first time holding baby. Look, she's so comfy. She went to sleep and she looks like she's smiling. She looks so happy. Great job, Zaku. Maybe wake up. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you look so upset? <laughs> it's your first time holding Layla, right? Or is this one eye? One eye, Layla. <laughs> Doing tummy time. Yeah, but she's just lying down. Is that food? You gotta give her space, baby. We're doing tummy time with this book. It's a black and white book that we've used for all the kids now. How's it going, Layla? Yeah? Is it interesting? 
you doing a book with her? Your <laughs> <laughs> brothers are very uh, the end. The end. No, 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 no. That's Layla's book right now. tomorrow and she has not had a bath yet because I was too scared to give her a bath. I just wanted to make sure like her, you know we didn't irritate her skin or anything but I think it's time and so tonight Layla is getting what are you doing to her? Why are you doing she this? Likes it. Does she? Do you like it Layla? Okay so yeah we're gonna get out her bathtub we can give her her first bath, my baby. Hope you like it, Layla. Layla's got her fists up. That's what she thinks of this bath. She's like, I'm going to get you guys back for this. Yes, Layla? Okay, okay. Bob is here. <laughs> Stop, don't embarrass her. <laughs> 